Hello. So, let's try to do Zone 4. First thing I would like to say is... The way the map of Zone 4 is laid out is it's always going to be a square. So if I dig up here and to the right, you see I'm in a corner. You will always start in one corner and the exit is to the opposite corner. So if you just want to go straight to the exit, here I will go left and then down. Uh, but I will want to stop by the shop and try to find some items. Another thing I want to recommend is whenever you're opening a new rooms, I'll just keep the dagger for now. You want to open and then back away. And the enemies will come to you slowly. And you will separate them by their speed. So like the fastest enemies will come soon and then the slowest will lag behind. And now we go down because we have just reached the, reached the end. When you have a Blade Master like this, if you keep attacking, if I back away now, I'm gonna get hit. So it's a good habit to try to step sideways like that and he won't attack you. If there's if there's an enemy uh, behind. And this should be the exit room right here. Oh, nope, not yet. One more. Yeah, so Blade Master, step to the side. And I also want to approach from above, because you see this mummy? The mummies are way easier to deal with if you're um, either above them or below. So this is why I didn't want to go um, from the side, right? Like, you see how it's just stuck now? We can get a leprechaun here. So if you have a big pile of gold, um, and you leave it on the ground for seven beats. It will uh, spawn a leprechaun, and then you can kill it. So this is not a good trick you can do. There will always be a sarcophagus in the exit room that will spawn skeletons. So this is a skeleton from the sarcophagus. If I kill it, it will spawn another skeleton. So yeah, here it's coming. A good trick you can do, if you can, like, you don't want to always leave them alive, but you can. If, if you leave this guy alive, for example, if it's a rider, I'm gonna see if I can get a rider. Um, then it's very helpful because riders are fast. No, I'm not gonna get a rider. Riders are fast. Yeah, there's a rider. So a rider will keep chasing you. And if I kill it, then it's gonna spawn out a skeleton. But I can drag it away and then come back here and you see this won't be spawning any more skeletons. So we can kill it. And we'll kill this guy. I didn't really check many shops or anything because I just um, I spent too much time talking. But yeah, you probably want to yeah, see again. We're in the corner, so the exit is going to be right and down. But let's let's try to full clear the level instead. So uh, ideally, if you want to just go to the exit, you'll go right and then down. But I want to full clear the level, so I'm gonna go down first. Again, see that Blade Master is blocked, so I'm just gonna move away because of that harpy. Like you open the room and you back away. You don't want to open too many rooms. Nope, I said nothing. Again, RP and uh, yeah, I just I just want to um, separate them basically by their movement speed. Flight shoes, nice. So if I move the right now. Um, there would be the exit room. I don't want to come too close to it because it might aggro the boss. And if it's a mummy or a blue dragon, that would be very dangerous to approach from the side. So I will just go up. It can't be a mummy because it was a mummy last floor. But like you will aggro if you come close. So I, I mean, you see how I'm kind of staying away. I want to aggro this guy. One thing um, you can do that I notice a lot of people don't is they leave a lot of barrels and crates unopened. There's so many ways you can open crates and barrels. Um, what you need is at least three damage. So this barrel, I want to open it. Um, I could like push it around, but I do have an earth tome. So I'm just going to earth it uh, because there's this wall right here. I earthed it against the wall and it will get crushed. But you can also use the wall pigs, the wall pig wire, that will open crates and barrels. Or the traps, so there was a trap to, uh, trap door, not trap door, trap room to the bottom left corner. That will make things easier.
Um, okay, black bats. Black bats are, I, I want to explain them because black bats very often hit people. So um, I'm gonna dig now and you see how the black bat right now, it's like one tile away. See how there's one, if I get close, there's one tile difference between us. So if I walked into it now, I would just get hit. You will always get hit if there's one tile between you and the bat. So what you want to do is you want to drop one beat or dig a wall and get a buffer. And now I'm going to be able to come close to him and it just won't hit me. Like it cannot hit me. And you would kill it there. Uh, I'm just going to deal with this like that. I shouldn't have gotten stomped. That happened. <laughs> yeah, I spent I spent too much time talking about um, everything. Oh, we have a wall pick here. Let's let's use it to clear some enemies. Yeah. I just ran out of time. You don't want to run out of time because then that happens. Um. Another thing I often see happening is gargoyles. People don't know how to deal with gargoyles. Um, there's a very cool way you can deal with them, which is there's there's a few different gargoyle types and it can be tricky to remember them all. But what I'm going to do is um, it's always safe to walk up to a gargoyle and then immediately walk away. See that what I'm doing right now? Like, no gargoyle will ever hurt you if you do this. So I know which gargoyle this is. Um, if you walk up to it and then walk away and it doesn't do anything, it will either be an exploding gargoyle or it's a crate gargoyle which will contain items. So this one is an exploding one because you can see it has fangs and like opened eyes. So if I were to hit this, it's going to explode. So I'm not going to do that. Crate. Again, trap. Push the crate to a trap. You get an item. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah, I wanted to also um, explain spiders on the walls. So spiders, um, this is a bit of an issue because they will never move past the torch. You see there's a torch here, so they won't move past here. But if I were to walk up to the spider, I'm going to get hit right now. The way you deal with them is you want to get them to be like this, and then you move to the side, and then you walk up to them. So they can never move twice in a row, and this will make dealing with them a lot easier. I'm going to check the shop quickly and just finish up because I spent too much time talking on this. Ooh, uh, we do have shield, which is very nice. I would also like the shoes, so I'm going to just wait. Yep, get wrecked, Harpy. Okay, I'm going to go to the shop now. Play the shield, get the armor. Let me see if I can get any more items. Oh. After you have killed the miniboss, you don't need to worry about the trapdoor room. Yeah, torch is nice. So I'm just going to go explore a little bit, yeah, and get some chests. Let's see, I'm going to trapdoor, um, but there's no more fighting area. Again, spiders. See this? If I walk up, I get hit. Instead, I go to the right, and now I'm fine. Get this guy killed. Another thing you can do, it, this is only if you have the DLC, but you can throw at Blade Masters to uh, destroy their armor. Again, the bat. Hold on, I need to deal with this monkey. So, See, now I'm no, no tiles away, so I'm always safe. The bat will never hit me. If I dig buffer, I will always get hit by the bat. Like, if I walk up to that now, I'm going to get hit. So I dig buffer again to, to spend the beat. Okay. Now, more gargoyles. Let's see if we can try to figure these out. So, remember what I said? Walk up to it and then walk away. This one starts chasing. So if it's chasing you, you know you can just hit it and you're fine. This one. Walk up to it, walk away. Nothing happened. So this means it's either explosive or um, or a creep. 
because this one has closed eyes, it's definitely a crate, so we can hit it. And I'm gonna push it to the trap and step on the bomb to explode it. And you get items. I'm just going to use uh, <laughs> use stuff, because I haven't been using it any. Walk up to it, walk away, because that's a chasing one. So this is this is pretty big because a lot of people miss a lot on a lot of items because of the gargles. Walk up, walk away. Eyes are open. It's an explosive one. I'm gonna bomb this. Just for fun. Walk up, walk away. This one starts chasing. Yep. What's this one? Someone tell me. Yep, that's a crate, so we bomb it. We could also push it down here. I'm gonna get the coupon, heart transplant, just to be a little bit faster. Um, yeah, I'll keep the shield and the heal. We can pick up this. We can eat this. Rapier is nice. I kind of... This is a good place to bomb. Yeah, what happens with these guys? Yep. Walk up, walk away. Nothing interesting in the blood shop. So... This is a good time to shield when you're having a panic moment, you just shield. Okay, now let's try to do this one a little bit faster. This is nice, laser charm. What's happening with this one? So I don't want to go up here. Now, if you're not sure what Gagarol is, don't just go up. You want to make sure you have uh, a good way to approach it. So I'm going to dig this wall and first, well, you can first pick up the diamonds if you need them. Walk up to it, walk away, nothing happened. That's an exploding one. That's not good. <laughs> don't do that. Um, I don't want any of these two items, so I'm going to transmit them. Remember to transmit items. I think Spear is a good weapon to have, um, especially for beginner players. I'm going to pick up the cat, because I like the cat. And the Obsidian Torch. Okay, um, Bane Shrine. Um, let's not spend too much health here. So, Bane Shrine is interesting, you can get hit next to it if you want. Or, oh my god, you can just bomb it. So if you take hit, hits next to it, it will spawn items, but I'm just going to bomb it, get the cheese. Um, this statue, the Necronancer statue. It will always, always, always just be a crate. It's just an item. Pixies. That's a pixie right there. I'm going to hold this up. What you do with pixies is you let them touch you. That's it. Don't hit them or they will explode. You just let them touch you. I could have actually left that skeleton alive. Okay, and now we have a barrel. So there's a bomb trap, I'm just going to bomb this, and I want to show this as well. This, um, you can push it here. Yep, more food. Walk up to it, walk away, it explodes. Who would have thought? This one. Yep. Okay. Now. The bots. So, Ela Difficult did a very good video on how to deal with the uh, Deadringer, but I can quickly run through it. So, what you want to do is you notice one of the four bells is red, and the red bell is the one he's always going for. If he hits it, he's going to spawn a mini boss. Um, what you can do is you can bomb them to avoid the spawning of the mini bosses. So I'm going to go here. He might start charging at you if he sees you. So like, he's right now he's going for that red bell, but if I get into the way, if I get in his way, he starts charging at me, see? So he's just gonna charge there. Again, like his, his aim, his primary goal is to go, like if I hide here, he's gonna go for the red bell. But if he sees me, he's gonna start charging at me. See, now he's charging. 
but otherwise he would have gone for the bell. So what you can do, you can try to lure him into the bells. So he charges into them. So he's gonna go for the bell, but I'm gonna stand here. Now. Um, not quite sure. It's gonna move, yeah, here. Yeah, now he's charging into the bell, and he has destroyed it, and he's not going to spawn anything. Uh, another thing you can do, you can just bomb them. So, I have a grenade. So, I'm gonna get him to go away. Or you can attack them yourself, if you don't have any bombs. Uh, but it's... It's a bit dangerous. So, once all the bells have been hit, or... Or, um, or destroyed, he's going to go Super Saiyan, so... I'm going to be dancing around with him a little bit, I'm gonna send him away, but the moment I hit this bell, he's gonna supercharge at me, so you want to step away. I'm gonna hit it, and it's to supercharge. I'm going to kill the miniboss. Now, don't let this charge hit you. The way you deal with it is you always want to uh, make sure he's charging up and down, you want to get him to charge to the gong. And sometimes people don't know like what to do, because they got him charging in weird ways, like this. Um, so what you do is you go all, you go to the center, you go all the way down, all the way down, move to the side, and now he charges to the, to the center. So always like try to stand either one, so this is the center, just the either to one tile to the left or one tile to the right, and you go all the way down, and if he's charging here, he can be like charging from left to right, left to right, and then you just get to the center and move up, and he's slowly going to align with the gong and then charge in. Now, the Necro Dancer. Um, controlling two characters at the same time, very fun. You can adjust here like this um, to get to the door, but what you can also do, that's very fun. If you you have your door in like this together, you just throw to the left, and he throws his dagger and then you're lined up, and then you can just pick up this weapon. Um, Button puzzles, you can do them. Or, if you have bombs, you need at least three bombs, that's going to uh, make things easier. I did make a full video on on the Necrodancer, so I think it's probably going to be the best if you just learn that. Because luring him will be very helpful. So if you stand a very specific pattern away from him, which is 4 plus 1 tiles, he will just uh, walk up to you. Ah, uh, this guy. And that way you don't need to like run away or anything. Or he will not run away. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. So zone 4 is... Uh, I'm going to try to do a quick run through zone 4 again. See how I dropped my beat there to deal with the deal with the bat? Because I was off parity. Here. This is annoying. I'll just wait. I don't wanna walk down because I'm gonna wake up the goblin, so I'll just I'll just stay here. Destroy that. Again, see how I approach the room from below and now dealing with the mummy is so much easier. See how she's just like, she's not going to move um, in a weird way. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I let the leprechaun go, that's okay. This is the wrong side, so I want to move to the right. Kill this guy, don't open the chest yet. It won't blow up unless you open it. When he blows up, you get it. What's my bat parity? See, I'm good. I'm near him, so it's okay. As long as I don't drop my beat, I'm going to be okay. I just wanted to let him dig that. Now, this is another cool thing you can do. You can just let that skeleton live, and the sarcophagus won't spawn any more enemies. If you just decapitate the skeleton. Um, can go check the shop. Yep, got some cool items. And we just kill the sarcophagus. There's a ham there. Really care.
going to go pick up these bombs though. This guy is here. There's an axe. Yeah, you want to like back away there. Separate the enemies by speed again. So the um what's what's his pace? The big guy will be slow, the harpies will be fast. I may have gotten a hit there. I'm going to push this crate to the shop, bomb this open. Um this is very nice. Again, um, one thing I didn't say, shrines. You can either activate them or you can bomb them and they will give you items. Uh, this one gives a map. I don't really care for the map, nor... If you activate it, you're gonna get shovels. So either of those is like me. Uh, it's gonna explode. Yep. There is some armor here though, so I will definitely take that. So I just stood still there? That was to not hit the pixie, because the pixies will explode if you hit them. Okay. There is a fast strat you can do depending on which side he spawns on. If he spawns on the right side, you can see right now, he spawns on the right. What you can do is... Um, his strat is very easy. Just hit the bottom left bell from above. Okay. And the top left bell from above. You can see I'm going to do just that. I'm going to go up, hit the first one from above and the second one from above by uh, moving left. So I go up, hit it from here, move up, go left. Okay, you want to go around that left side, hit this guy, wait for the ogre. So the, you see the ogre? It needs to move away from the center. Once it moves away from the center, then you can get to the center and you're going to be fine. If you go too early, the ogre will block uh, the the charge, and I'm just going to bomb this. You can even shield bell right before this to get a longer one. Always kill the always kill the mini boss. If you get a mini boss, you want to kill it. Yeah, like I got this one right here. Especially if it's like a red dragon, that's going to be very annoying. It's gonna explode, so I'll, I'll not go there. I think I would have been able to hit him, but... Well, maybe not very good to risk it. But I did, there is a lure. If you if you watch my other video, it's a bit more in-depth um, on how to lure the Necrodancer. That will be a lot better. Yeah, but it's a bit more complicated. I don't think it's uh, very good for a short video like this. Okay. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Best of luck with your zone 4 clears. I hope you uh, can get it. Hopefully that has made it a little bit easier for you. And yeah, remember the... Um, open the crates. Really open, open the crates. The the crates and the gargoyles. Too many people missed them. Um, yeah. Oh, this switch up? It's not. Never switch up. <laughs>